Hey guys, I'm Mariam. Welcome to my first ever hair tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I get this super sassy, super easy ponytail that's sort of become my go-to. I like it because it's nice and high, so it has some height. Also looks very full from the side. It's sassy, it's youthful, it's great for any occasion, for school, for work, for prom, whatever you want to do. And it's especially fitting if you only have about five minutes to spare to do your hair, which is pretty much me every single day. This is why I love this hairstyle so much. I'm also going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make your hairline look a little bit fuller. So definitely stick around. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. I love you guys and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so typically when you do the ponytail the traditional way, it tends to look something like this. At least it does on my hair. Very flat, very uninspiring. And I want to show you a certain technique that I do to make my ponytail look a little bit fuller, a little bit more full of life. Because this just ain't cutting it. Okay, you can see my hairline is looking a little sparse. You can see the ponytail is looking a little too thin. Not what I'm trying to go for. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I get my Barbie ponytail like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my original Tartlet palette by Tarte. And you guys are going to think I'm really weird for doing this, but this trick really does help. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This one is double-ended. So I'm going to take the larger side and I'm going to dip it into this darker shade right here. It's a deep brown. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in my hairline. In those areas where I'm sort of missing hair, where it's looking a little sparse, a little lackluster, and I'm just going to dab it right onto those areas to sort of fill them in. The same way that you would fill in eyebrows, I'm doing this to my hairline. This will make your hair look so much fuller, so much thicker. So I'm starting with a darker color and I'm filling in the sparse areas along the hairline. I'm also going in right here in the very center of my forehead. This also helps with slimming your forehead. You can even blend it with your contour, if you know what I mean, to make it look even more natural. If you have blonde hair, use a taupe sort of color. And if you have any other hair color, just use a cool shadow shade. Okay, then I'm gonna use the other side of the brush. I'm gonna dip it into this shade right here, the slightly lighter brown, and I'm going, I'm going to go along the hairline, blending this into my contour shade. This is not something that I would do for every day, but for a special occasion, especially if you wanna wear your hair slicked back or in a ponytail, this really does help. And listen, there's no shame in doing something like this. It's a trick that a lot of celebrities use. So I thought, why not show you how it's done on me? You can already see my hairline is starting to look a lot fuller and thicker. Now for the ponytail portion, this is literally the easiest thing in the world, you guys. Take the center of your hair, essentially the crown, separate it with your nails, with your fingers. You can do it with a brush. I'm not even trying to be super neat here. Then I'm gonna take a little rubber band. I'm going to tie my hair at the very top, or I guess wherever is most flattering for you. So don't make it too tight. Make sure that there's a little bit of room here. Next thing you're gonna do is gather up the rest of your hair, and you can use your brush to really smooth it out. Or you can go for a messy look and kind of just gather the hair together with your hands. But I usually like to keep mine a little bit neater. That looks about right. Once you gather your hair up, you could see if maybe you need to fill in some more. And I can see here that I could use a little bit more eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna take a brown elastic that matches my hair. I'm going to wrap it around my hair underneath that first elastic. So you see, 
The first one is going to be right here. So I'm sort of wrapping it underneath, giving it a nice bump. So now you can tell that the ponytail is sitting up a lot higher. <laughs> And it's looking a lot thicker from the side. I'm gonna take a comb like this with a tail and I'm just gonna lift the roots a little bit just to create a little bit more volume. Now I'm gonna smooth it all back. If you want you can use hairspray, something like this, or a little bit of a hair oil. I'm gonna use oil just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm trying to keep things very soft and casual. I'm just gonna slick things back. Slick back my pony. The final thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to brush out my baby hairs to sort of cover up that area where I applied eyeshadow. Pretty sure this is a very popular JLo trick. I always see her brushing out her baby hairs. Always gives the illusion of youth. Also reminds me of my high school days. And there you have it. My signature Barbie ponytail. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Super duper easy, under five minutes, perfect for any occasion, especially if you're a student or a busy mom and you wanna look a little extra sassy. This is definitely my everyday go-to. It saves my day more than you can imagine. And that's why I love it so much. So I hope it does the same for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. I'll see you on Snapchat and on my social media channels. I love you guys so much. Till next time, mwah.